Good morning. My name is Tunele Bede. I'm a senior lecturer at the University of Lagos, Department of Employment Relations and Human Resources Management. This morning, I will be discussing the concept of internal labor markets. For most organizations that rely heavily on internal labor markets processes for staffing in the organization. First and foremost, we have two forms of labor markets. We have the external labor market and we have the internal labor market. The external labor market emphasizes the interplay of demand and supply in allocation and determining the price for labor efforts. And majorly, it takes into consideration economic parameters, economic activities, uh, the impersonal market forces of demand and supply to determine volume of employment in the organization, to determine the caliber of people to be employed in the organization, to determine wages to be paid, salaries to be given to workers on daily basis or monthly basis. That is external labor market. But our focus here this morning is on internal labor market. The internal labor market system is uh, a distance, I mean, a very clear uh, separation of what external labor market perform. So the internal labor market is a concept or a process whereby organization carried out staffing process recruitment majorly from within the organization and suddenly rely on external labor market for staffing process in the organization. So in the internal labor market process, emphasis is on the employment of workers from the port of entry. No matter your qualification, no matter your skills, no matter your level of competency, you have to come in through the port of entry. And for you to uh, be able to move up in the uh, organizational ladder, you will be subjected to rigorous training, rigorous development, uh, rig rigorous career planning process within a uh, design within the organization. So the labor market process is such that it is designed within the organization based on sets of prescribed rules and regulations which govern employment process in that organization. So and it differs from organization to organization for those organizations that rely on internal labor market process. What is obtainable in industrial organization is that most often organizations combine uh, internal labor market process and external labor market process in order to carry out staffing uh, process in that organi in the organization. But there are some organizations that rely heavily on the internal labor market process. For instance, the military is a good example of organization that rely on internal labor market process. Also, the ministry public enterprises in Nigeria rely heavily on internal labor market process and they suddenly uh, interfere with the external labor market. Now what is internal labor market? Internal labor market is defined as an administrative unit within which the pricing all allocation are determined primarily by a set of rules within the organization. Who to employ, how do we employ them, what are the process of recruitment, uh, the job adverts, the selection process, the sources of people to be recruited are designed, are determined within the organization. 
And of course, it is not by internal, it, it is not by impersonal market forces of demand and supply of labor in the macroeconomy. So it is done within the organization. It has less consideration for what is going on in the external labor market or the macro economy of the labor market. So the decision I make within the organization, whether uh, there is high labor demand outside there, whether there is shortage of demand, whether there is surplus of demand, they are less uh, concerned about that. What they are interested in is within the organization, what is our demand in the organization, what is our supply in the organization, how do we bring people in from the port of uh, entry within the organization. And if there is a vacancy to be filled, do you have the uh, ready-made uh, army of employee to move to the next level to fill the vacancy? If not, do we need to interfere in that manner with external labor market? If we do that, does, he have, does that have any implication for the internal labor market arrangement we have in the organization? All these processes, all these decisions are made within the organization. And essentially, wages and salary are determined outside the processes of the interplay of demand and supply. Majorly, wages and salary are determined within the organization with less concentration to the external economy forces.